Okay, well, now, what we've done, what I'm doing here, that's the sea. 30 miles of open ocean lay between us and the finishing line at Vung Tau. But as the water didn't look too rough, we decided to put on some life jackets and go for it. I've been thinking, Jeremy, the sea is in some ways a lawless place, but in others there is a strict code, isn't there? You stick together through thick and thin, face perils as one. Yeah. The thing is, though, to operate efficiently as a team, each team member has to be at their optimum. At this speed, I'm not at my best. I have no steering. And so... Three, two, one, go. Funny. As it turned out, that would be the last funny moment of the day. Standing up, see if that helps. With Bentley. Oh, no! Oh, God! God of blood, this is just awful. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to throw up at this rate, not because of seasickness, but because of the amount of salt water in my bag. than I thought it was going to be. It wasn't just the rough seas. We also had to weave our way through the shipping lanes. There's a large tanker dead ahead. Trawler off to my right. Jeez. I've managed to miss that massive container ship. That's something. I just pissed myself standing up where I was. Anything else is not an option. Oh. Oh. This is getting sketchy. I'm not sure we can do this. Certainly one of our camera boats was in very big trouble. And James had completely lost control of his antique. No! No, 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 no! Oh, no! After 15 miles, the sea started to calm a little, and I decided to increase speed. Come on, he's brave little soldier. Come on, fight, 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 fight! Mercifully, the finish line, Vung Tau Harbour, then hove into view. That's brilliant. These last couple of hours have damn nearly killed me. They probably have, James and Richard. I can't raise either of them on the radio. I don't know where they are. I reached the jetty, very much alone. Sorry, there's no film crews with me. Um, I don't know where they are either, but Richard Hammond is arriving. Normally we'd celebrate the end of a journey, but I'm not yeah, celebrating that. Beyond brutal. Yeah, that was the uh, hardest thing I've ever done. Easily the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Most dangerous. Yeah. But then the Rover 90 hove into view. It could be coming with nobody on it, like the Marie Celeste. Well, I did what? No, he is there. Look, there's a very bedraggled dog at the helm. Yep. Right. We've been very worried about you. 
Have you? I was very worried about me, but thank you. Jeez. Oh, I'm absolutely staggered it's still there. But well, we have survived. Yeah. 